the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Oh, oh, what a journey I've had. Oh, it's so hot in the jungle and sticky and noisy in here. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, I, I didn't see you there. I am a Professor Zippy, the famous explorer. Help! Help! Yeah. Oh, what, what was that? What was that? Now, where was I? In the jungle! In the jungle! Uh, yes, I know I'm in the jungle, thank you. Well, get on with the story, then. Oh. I am a Professor Zippy, the famous explorer, come to photograph lions and tigers. Lions? Tigers? Lions and tigers? I've just said that. I've just said that. Mm. Oh. Look over there. Look over there. Mm. Look over where? Look over where? Over there. Over there. Mm. Oh, I've got my camera ready. It's bound to be a huge lion or tiger. Here it he comes. Here it he comes. Mm. Got it. <laughs> A bungle! Oh, what do you want? I've just come to see what you're up to, Zippy. That Professor Zippy. I've wasted a photograph taking your picture, Bungle. I'm trying to take a photograph of a lion. Oh, sorry, Professor Zippy. Yes. Uh, what do you want a photograph of a lion for anyway? Oh, because lions and tigers are my favourite animals. They're strong and they prowl around the jungle. Well, is that all? Is that all? They're the best animals I know with their strong teeth and sharp claws. And, Bungle, they're the same colour as I am. Uh, the man lion has a big furry scarf round his neck. Uh, uh, look! Yes, real lions are big and brave. Big, real and brave! Yeah. And they roar! <laughs> oh, that's very good, Zippy! <laughs> that wasn't me! It must have been a lion! Oh, where's my camera? <laughs> Well, where, where are you going, Bungle? Oh, nowhere, Zippy. I'll see you later. Oh, yes. <laughs> Did you know that the lion is the king of the jungle, Bungle? King of the jungle, Bungle! King of the jungle, Bungle! And... <laughs> oh, Jeffrey! I mean, that's two pictures I've wasted. And you frightened the lion away. Oh, I'm sorry, Zippy, but you know, I don't think I can frighten a lion away. <laughs> He's more likely to frighten me away. Yeah, but what are you doing in the jungle anyway? I'm looking for next door's cat, Zippy. You haven't seen him anywhere, have you? <laughs> of course I haven't. You don't find little pussy cats in the jungle. Tigger! 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 Oh! Sounds like Jeffrey's found a pussy cat. <laughs> yeah. Oh! oh. That wasn't the cat I was looking for. Oh. Hey. I wish I'd seen the lion. Oh, what's that? Over there! Oh. Hey, what? Oh, a strange pink animal! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh! Hello, I'm George. Uh, George, what are you doing here? Oh, come to see what you're up to, Zippy. Uh, 
I am trying to take photographs of lions and tigers. Ooh, ooh I've just seen a lion. <laughs> Where? Over there. I've just been talking to him. <laughs> talking to him? But lions are dangerous wild animals. They're very fierce. Ooh, this one isn't. <laughs> Look, George, you go and pet him while I, Professor Zippy, uh, get ready to take a photograph of him. <laughs> All right, Professor Zippy. <laughs> oh, 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 I hope he's not too dangerous. Here he comes! Here he comes! Uh, uh, got him! Hello, everybody! Hello, Zippy! But, 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 but I thought you were a big, ferocious liar! Who, oh, me? Oh, don't be silly! I'm as gentle as a mouse! Yes, he's very gentle, and he's got lots of friends here in the jungle, you know. Oh, yes, I'm never lonely, am I? No, listen, I know a story about that lonely lion. Would you like to hear it? Oh, yes, oh, yeah, yeah, yes please, I will. Ooh, yeah, can can, can I it? hear it? Can I hear it too, please? Oh, of course you can, George. Come on over here. You can hear the yeah, story. Yeah, come on, come, come next to me, George. Yes, that's it, right next to me. Yeah, yeah that's God. lovely. Uh, yeah, yeah, God. No, what, no. What's the story about, then? Well, as I said, it's a lonely lion, so the story is naturally called The Lonely Lion. Oh, oh let's hear it. Yeah. People love to visit Zoe's Zoo and see the wonderful collection of big cats. There were pumas and panthers, lynx and leopards, cheetahs and tigers. And there was also a lion. He lived alone in a big enclosure with grass and trees and plenty to eat. Oh, good. But this particular lion always looked sad. Oh, dear. Mm. Zoe the zookeeper was becoming very worried about him. Hmm. Well, she would, wouldn't she, Zippy? Yes, if it was sad, yeah. yeah. When all the visitors arrived, they too were worried about him. Look at that lion, they said. He looks really sad. Oh, what a shame, isn't it, George? Mm, yes, the, yes, other, yes, mm, yes. the other big cats tried to cheer up the lion by suggesting interesting things he could do. Such as what? Well, try a spot of running, said the cheetahs as they rushed across the grass at a fantastic speed. Yeah. It's a really good exercise. I'm not very keen on running, said the lion. But he should, shouldn't he, Zippy? Oh, yes, I'm a good runner, I am. Oh, so am I. How about climbing a tree, suggested the panthers. Good idea. It's great up here. You can see over the whole zoo. I don't like climbing, sighed the lion. I prefer to stay on the ground, thank you very much. Well, come and have a swim in the pool, called the tigers. Ooh. It's lovely and cool in here. Oh, I hate getting wet, moaned the lion. I'll, I'll just give it a miss, if you don't mind. Oh, dear, he's been very silly. Nobody seemed to be able to cheer up the sad lion. Every day, crowds of people came to stare at him, and every day the lion stared back at all the people and sighed. <gasps> well, somebody's got to do something, haven't they, George? Yes, but, but what? Yeah. Well, one day, Zoe brought her little niece Amy to visit the zoo. Amy looked across the grass at the sad lion and said, Poor old pussy. He must be very lonely all by himself. Yes, he was. When Zoe heard this, her eyes lit up. The next day, she arrived for work in a big red zoo lorry. She climbed down from the cab, opened the back doors, and outbounded four big lionesses. <laughs> oh, good. They scampered into the lion enclosure and ran straight up to the lion. Hello, they cried. We've come to live here and be your friends. Oh. Hooray! <laughs> the lion was delighted. Yeah, I'll bet he was. Yeah. The smile on his face stretched from ear to ear. <laughs> he looks happy now, laughed Amy. I'm glad he's got some friends. So am I. And it's all thanks to you, smiled Zoe, because you solved the problem of the lonely lion. Oh, what a lovely oh, story, yeah, wasn't yeah, it, George? Thank you, Tracy. Yes, thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, what's that? What's the matter? Oh, oh, I'm scared. What is it? What's the matter? Oh, oh, I've got to go. I've got to go. Goodbye, George. Goodbye, Tracy. Yeah, goodbye. 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 Well, that was...
wasn't quite the lion I was looking for. Still, I got Lenny's photograph, yes. What's your matter? What's your matter? Oh, we just seen a tiger. A tiger? Where? On the Beautiful animals, all stripy, just like a pussy cat. Oh, but did you see how quickly they moved? Yeah, and did you see the one swimming? Oh, yeah, yes, and I managed to get lots of photographs. Oh, well, I remember. We took lots of photographs last time we were in the jungle. Yes. Oh, yes, it was very dangerous. And we had to be very, very careful. There are lions in the jungle. With great big manes and whiskers to beware in the jungle That lion has got his eye on you You'll shake, you'll quake if that lion's awake You never know what they'll do Keep still, Jeffrey. Let me take your photograph. Zippy, why don't you take a photograph of all of us? Come on, everybody. Where are yes, you? Yes, that's all, 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 all over there, there by George. Yes, that's it. Good. All together. Close. Yes, that's it. Good. Well, time to go, I'm afraid. But we'll see you again very soon, I hope. Take good care, won't you? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> right now, smile, everybody. Come on, smile, Tigger. Say cheese. Cheese.
the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Where is it? Have you lost something, Bongo? Well, it must be here somewhere. Wait, what are you looking for? Oh, my jigsaw! The one with the farm animals on it. Ooh, well, it must be somewhere. Um, ooh, have you looked in the toy box? Yes, yes. And you've looked in the cupboard? Yes, yes. Well, have you looked in the... Uh... <laughs> In the saucepans in the kitchen. The saucepans? Oh, yes, the saucepans. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find in saucepans. I think you're teasing me, George. <laughs> yes, just a little bit. <laughs> well, that's not very kind. I thought you wanted to help me. Oh, I do, Buggle. I do want to help you. <laughs> Help, help, help. What do you need help with, Bongo? Well, I'm trying to find my jigsaw, and George isn't helping me. Yeah, well, don't you worry, Bongo. I'll help you find it. I mean, I can find anything. Yes, I'm the best finder in the world. You'll help him? Oh, yes, because all this needs is a bit of organisation. Oh, you mean organisation, Zippy? I like the sound of that. Oh, what's your organisation, Zippy? Thinking ahead, George. Oh, oh, can I have some organisation, Zippy? Thinking ahead. Yes, I like that. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, hello, Zippy. Hello, Jeffrey. Oh, no, what a mess. Oh, oh it's all right, Jeffrey. Zip is getting us organised. Yes. Well, somebody needs to. Ah, uh, yes, yes, and that's me. Because I'm organised, I am. Oh, yes, very organised, yeah. How are you organised? I'd like to see this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, I keep lists, yes. I know exactly what I've got and where I keep it. That means I can always find anything I want. That's very clever, Zippy. Yes. Isn't that clever, Bungle? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, will your list help me find my jigsaw, Zippy? Uh, of course not, Bungle Bunch. This is my list. Your jigsaw will be on your list. Oh, yes. But I haven't got a list. Mm -hmm. Well, get one. Get organised, organised, organised. Things put here, things put there. List to show you that I care for my toys that are everywhere. <laughs> Come on, you better show us how your list works, Zippy. And perhaps we can all make one. Right, 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 right. Now, now, let's see. Now, suppose I want my storybook about Snow White, yeah? Well, I know exactly where it is. Well, where is it then, Zippy? Uh, it, it, it's on the shelf of the cupboard. At the back. Yeah. Oh, Bungo, 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 go and get it. Oh, that's ever so clever. All oh, right. <laughs> well, there's no book here. Oh, Zippy. Yeah, but, but there must be. It's on my list. I mean, I'm organised. Well, let's have a look at your list, Zippy. You might have got the wrong shelf. I don't think your organisation is working, Zippy. I don't understand. One minute, here it is. It'll be all right. It says, uh, on the shelf in the cupboard at the back. Yes. Well, what's on that shelf, Bungle? Well, well, well nothing, Geoffrey. Oh, yeah. oh, no, no, of course there isn't. It's all on the floor. Yep. Well, I haven't got anything on my list which says to be kept on the floor. No, no, no Zippy, no, it's Bungle. He threw everything out of the cupboard when he was looking for his jigsaw. Oh, sorry, Zippy. <laughs> Trust Bungle, Bons. I mean, how can my list work if you're going to keep moving things? You've ruined my organisation. Look, I think it's time we sorted this out. Now, the first thing we have to do is to organise things into groups. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I was just going to say that. That's what I do, yes. Well, off you go, then. All right. Well, we could organise 
all the bricks into one group, uh, the books into another group, and the jigsaws into another. Right, Bungle. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Ooh, ooh, what can I sort out? Well, let's see, George. Um... Yeah, no, 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 no. I'll organise this, Geoffrey. Now, let me see. Uh, George. You can sort out those bricks. Oh, thank you, Zippy. Bungle, you can organise all the jigsaws into one pile and all those books into another. Oh, thank you, Zippy. What about me, Zippy? What shall I do? Oh, uh, 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 well, well, Jeffrey, um, I think it would be a good idea if we had lots of boxes to put everything into when they've been organised. Yes, yes, that's what we need now. Some boxes. Right. Well, what are you going to do, Zippy? Me? Make the lists, Bungle. Make the lists. I am in charge of organising. I am the organiser. Yes. <laughs> Right, here we are, Zippy. Cardboard boxes. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, um, just, uh, just put them down for a moment, please, Geoffrey. We've got to get everything organised into piles before we can put them in the boxes. Whatever you say, Zippy. Yes. Oh, I found it! I found it! <laughs> now you can see how being organised works. So let's get on with it. Oh, thank you, Zippy. This is my favourite jigsaw. Uh, yes, well, you can't play with it now, Bungle Bods. There's work to do. Oh, but I don't want to lose it again. No, no, you won't lose it, Bungle. Tell you what, put it in this cardboard box with all the other jigsaws. Yes, that's yeah. right, yes. Keep them all together. That's what being organised is all about. <laughs> Bricks, oh, they put some down, so... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Jeffy, Jeffy, can you help me organise these bricks, please? Yes, of course I can, George. It, well, what shall I do? Well, look, uh, are they all the same size? Oh, no, no, no. These are big. Uh-huh. These are little. <laughs> Ooh, and these are medium. Mm. Well, what you need to do, George, is to separate them all. Oh, ooh, that's a good idea. I can put all the big ones at this end. Oh, that's a help, George. Oh, yes, 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 another one. Yes. Thank you. And, and the little ones at, at this end. And the uh, medium-sized ones uh, in the middle. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Any more medium-sized ones, eh? There's more medium than there are small, oh. little or big, yes. That's it. Thank you, George. And the little ones at the front. Yes, yes. There, you know what you've done, George, don't you? No. You've organised your bricks by their size. Oh. Big, medium, a little. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, good. How are you doing, Zippy? Oh, I'm just making a list of bricks, bricks. Oh, Jeffrey, bricks. Jeffrey, come and look at these books. Yes, come in, Bungle. Now then, look, I've organised them so that the tall books are at this end, the short books at this end, and the medium books in the middle. Well, you've organised the books by their height, Bungle. Tall, medium, short. Oh. Well, no, haven't you finished organising your piles yet? I, I want to write them down on my list so we can find them again when we want them.
a nice now, Geoffrey. You certainly are, Zippy. Now, this box here with the blue label, that's got all the books. And this one with the yellow label has got all the jigsaws. <laughs> and all the bricks are in this box, which has a green label. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll write it all down so we'll always know where everything is. Yeah. All right, here we go, then. So, so it's a uh, box with a blue label for books. Blue, blue label for books. A green label box for bricks. Green bricks. And a yellow label box for puzzles. Yes, that does look a lot better. Oh, yes, we're really organised now. <laughs> yes, thanks to me. We'll never lose anything again. Well, what should we do now? Well, I'd like to play with my jigsaw. Oh, can I help you, Bungle? Of course you can, George. Oh, but where is it? Ooh. Well, that's easy, Bungle. All we have to do is to ask Sippy. So, come on, Zippy, tell us, where's Bungle's jigsaw? The, the, the one with the farm animals. Oh, yeah. Well, let me see, let me see. Jigsaw. Oh, hurry up, Zippy! Oh, don't rush me! Oh, oh yes, yes, here it is. Uh, jigsaws are in the yellow box, and the one with the farm animals is at the bottom. Oh. Yes, but where's the yellow box, Zippy? Oh, well, yeah. It's in the window box. Oh, I'll get there it. Oh, jigsaw. Oh, 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 I can't see a yellow box. Well, let me have a look, Bungle. It, it must be there. It says so. Oh, well, can you see a yellow box, Geoffrey? No, not at the moment, Bungle. Oh, I want my jigsaw. It must be there, Bungle. It's on Zippy's list. Yes, of course it's there. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is, Bungle. Oh. The yellow box is at the bottom. Yeah, I said it was in the window box. Goody, now where's my jigsaw? Uh, oh, at the bottom of the box, yes, yes. Oh, bottom of the box, right. Have you found it, Bungle? Oh, yes, here it is. Oh, thank you, Zippy. You see, your lists do work. I think you're very clever and what, what, what? Oh, dear. Well done, Bungle Bunch. But what is the point of getting organised if you're just going to mess it all up again? Mm, yes, it is a bit of a mess, isn't it? Yes, it is, George. But you know what we did wrong, don't you? Uh, put the jigsaws in the wrong colour box. Well, no, it's the right colour box. But what we should have done is organise the boxes so that the things that we use the most... Like the, my jigsaw. Your jigsaw and, and my bricks bungle. Yeah. Are all at the top. And the things that we don't use a lot are at the bottom. Ha, right. Then there's only one thing to do. Ooh, what's that, Zippy? Empty everything out on the floor and start again. Yeah. Ooh, oh, no! Yeah. And I'll make a new list. We've got to get organised. Oh, all right, Zippy, we'll start again. But I'll tell you what, we'd better say goodbye first. Yeah. Time for us all to go now, but take care, won't you? See you soon. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> Streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. <laughs> oh, I've got a surprise for you today. Now, come on, close your eyes. Oh, is it a nice surprise? Oh, it is, it is. It's like me. Well, there's only one of you. 
Hi ho! <laughs> Two would be awful. <laughs> Look, do you want to see my surprise or not? <gasps> yes, of course we do, Zippy. <laughs> right now, close your eyes. Come on, come on, Zippo, Zippo, right now. Ta-da! Open your eyes! Hiya, guys. How are things? It's really me, and there are no strings. <laughs> George, you're beginning to sound like an owl. Oh, come on, George. We met last September. Georgie Porgy, don't you remember? No, I'm afraid I don't. I do? Your Zippo, Zip his cousin. You're right, Bungle. You're right first time. Bungle Bonds, you really shine. <laughs> but, but you're different, Zippo. You're not the same as you were. A different I look, but different I'm not. It's just that now I'm really hot. <laughs> Last time we met, your clothes weren't as, as, as flashy. No, 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 not flashy, Zippy. You, you look more uh, grown up zippos, that's all. Yeah, I wear these clothes like a hip man should. They're real cool, man. Don't you think they're good? No. You look like a deck chair. <laughs> oh, you're so rude, Zippy. Oh, take no notice of old-fashioned Zippy. He's just mad because I'm so hippie. Oh. Go away, Zippy. Take a nap. We don't care because we're going to rap now. Come on, gang. You'll be just grand. Just twist and shake and stick out that hand. Jump it up. Don't get caught napping because stay loose and cool. Now Zippo! Really Hello. We're... I didn't know you were here. <laughs> now, look, everyone, I'd like you to meet my visitor. This is Jenny. She's a singer. Pleased to meet you all. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> right, Jenny, this is uh, Bungle, George, Zippy, and Zippy's cousin, Zippo. Gosh, I hope I can remember all your names. Let me see. Bungle. George. <laughs> Zippo? No, 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 I'm Zippy, but he's Zippo. Oh, I'm sorry, Zippy. So that makes you Zippo. <laughs> I like the way you dance. I'd like to be able to move like that. Would you teach me, Zippy? I'm Zippy. I live here. I mean, he's only a visitor. Oh, I'm sorry, Zippo. I mean, Zippy. <laughs> Your names are very similar, you know. And you do look a bit the same. Yes, but we're very different. There's only one me in the whole world. Oh, thank, thank goodness. goodness. <laughs> oh, yes, and there's only one of me. And me. Yeah, and one of me, I'll have you know, and I am Zippo. Let's go, man, go. Come on, you all, let's really swing. Just hang out loose and do your own thing. Jeffrey, I brought some chocolates. Will it be OK if we have one? Thank you very much. That's lovely. Shall we have one now and then save the rest till after tea? Oh, I love chocolates. Yes, yeah, me too. Me. I love them more than anything else in the world. Can I go first, Jeffrey? Please? CP, where are your manners? Yeah, well, I said please. Visitors first. Come on, Zippo, you choose first. I know, thank you, Jeffrey. That's very kind, but I don't like chocolates if you don't mind. Yep, yeah, what? I'm not like Zippy who eats and eats. I like some food, but I don't like sweets. Oh. What do you like, then? I like savoury things, and I'll hear no buts. I like crisps and chips and lots of nuts. Yuck! You may look like me, but you're not like me. I eat everything. Yummy! <laughs> yes, we all know about you, Zippy. But, you know, everybody's different, aren't they? 
I mean, I'm not too keen on sweet things myself. Oh, God, that means I can go first. <laughs> Here we are, Zippo. Yeah, I'm not Zippo. I'm Zippy, remember? I'm the one who likes chocolates. Yummy, yummy, delicious. George, Bungo. Oh, oh, oh thank yes. you. Yeah, I love chocolates too. Oh, with these chocolates, you could come to grief because you should know they're bad for your teeth. Oh, be quiet, Zippo. Can I have another, Jenny? Ah, uh -uh. Zippy, nearly tea time. You can have one later, Zippo. You've done it again. I'm Zippy. Oh, dear. I can't get it right. Never mind, Jenny, you will. I tell you what, you'll have to come and help me get the tea ready. I will be in the kitchen if you need us. I shan't be long. <laughs> Never mind, he says. Never mind. I do mind. Mind what? What well, being mixed up with Zippo all the time? Oh, Zippy, all this fuss about nothing. I'm not nothing, I'll have you know. I'm not nothing. I am Zippo. Oh, dear. This is getting very difficult. Yes. Oh, listen, Hado, let's play a game. I'll change it to somebody totally different. Oh, Zippy, is that safe? Oh, I don't mean forever, George. I'll stay the same underneath, but disguise myself just to drink Jeffrey and Jenny. <laughs> hey, everybody, come on, come on. This is a game that could really be fun. Yeah, yeah, come on. Let's go upstairs and find a disguise. <sighs> Oh, what about this? Do you think Geoffrey will know who I am? Yes. yes. In this hat, you'll look great, of course. Come on, cowboy, get on your horse. Ride right, him, cowboy. No, no, that's no good, no. Oh, what about this one? Oh, OK. Oh, what, 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 what do I look like? A pirate. <laughs> Jim lad. <laughs> no, no, that's no good. Look, well, why don't you dress up like Zippo? Then you look the same. No. Zippo's flashy enough. We can't have two the same. <laughs> I know. I'll pretend to be a gypsy and I'll sing to Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, he'll never guess, no. <laughs> No, 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 don't tell me, don't tell me. I know who you are. You're Zippo, Zippy's cousin. You're right, of course, as I'd expect. You're right, of course. Correct, correct. Well done, Jenny. Zippy's going to be pleased you've got it right at last. Oh, yes, he was getting pretty fed up with me. You can't blame him, either. But where is Zippy and the others? Oh, they're upstairs, but they're just coming. And when they do, things are really be humming. Oh, good. I brought my guitar so I can sing a song later. I'm sure your song will make you a star. They'd all like to hear it, and here they are. <laughs> this is a friend of ours, Silvestro. <laughs> Hello, Silvestro. But where's Zippy? Oh, he had to go out. <laughs> That's right, George, but he'll be back later. <laughs> Silvestro is a great singer. Oh, please, Sylvester, now, come along. Won't you sing us just a little song? Shall I play for you? Um, yes, please. <laughs> ah, three gypsies stood by the castle gate. They sang so high, they sang so low. The princess up in a chamber lay. Ah, it melted away like snow. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! Well
Well done. Y y y more. Uh, more. <laughs> no more, George. No more, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice, Sylvester. Would you like a chocolate? Oh, oh, oh yes, yes, I love chocolates more than anything else in the world. Just oh, a yummy. minute, I know that voice. Sylvestro? There's only one person in the world loves chocolates like that. Sippy. Oh, <laughs> oh, you guessed, Jeffrey. Yes, I didn't guess, Zippy. I mean, you might look different, but you're still Zippy because of the way you grabbed hold of the chocolates. Sure. I knew it was you. Oh. Well, I wouldn't have guessed. You look completely different, Zippy. Yeah. You remembered my name. <laughs> Have a chocolate, Jimmy. Oh, thanks, I will. I'll save it for later. Now can I sing my song? Oh, oh. Yes, oh yes, yes, please. Yes, please. As long as it's not like Sylvestro's. <laughs> I hope you haven't got a voice like Zippy's. Oh, he can't disguise that. Shush, shush, it, it, it's very hard singing in public. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Listen with your eyes, listen with your eyes and sing everything you see. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. We can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Listen with your eyes and sing everything you see. You can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. We can sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Hey, thank you, Jenny. So you liked it? Yeah. Yes, we did. <laughs> it, it, it was lovely, Jenny. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, nearly as good as mine. Oh, thank you. Right, come on, everybody. Time for tea. Oh, oh of course, yeah. Ah, just oh. you see what I've got here. Something for everyone. Ta-da! Oh, what a feast, Geoffrey. <laughs> yes, let's hand them around. I've got some savoury things for Ooh. Zippo and sweet things later for Zippy. There we go. <laughs> Isn't it funny how we're all different? Yes, and I like it that way. It would be boring if we were all the same. Uh, it certainly would, Bungle. Well, time to go now, I'm afraid, but we will see you again soon. Take good care, won't you? Bye-bye. Streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. And so that was how the great detective solved the mystery of the missing painting. Oh, thank you, Zee. Thank you. <laughs> now, I promise you I'll read you one story, and I have. But I really must get on now and write some letters. Now, where's my pen? Ooh, that was an exciting story, wasn't it, Zippy? I do like a mystery. Yes, I liked it as well. 
I think I could be a great detective. Yes, I could be Detective Zippy. Oh, yes, and I could be the one who helps you. We could solve great mysteries, Zippy. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I'd solve them, of course. You just help. Oh, oh, yes. Well, perhaps you could solve a little mystery for me. I seem to have lost my pen. Je oh, oh, it is oh. Oh, Geoffrey, can I borrow your pen again, please, just for a moment? Oh, sorry, Bungle, I can't find it. Well, isn't it on the table? No. Well, look under the table, then. Oh, under the table? No, it's not there either. Oh. Yeah, that's very odd. Well, perhaps I left it in the kitchen. Come on, let's go and have a look. Oh. It's rather a mystery. He's probably put it down somewhere and forgotten where. Yep. Yeah. Or someone has taken it. <gasps> taken it? Who would do that? That silly. Uh, silly? No, it's not. It's a mystery, George. And Detective Zippy is going to solve it. This could be my first big case. Detective Zippy and the missing pen. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds exciting. <laughs> Can I help? What do we do first? Ah. Oh, well, we... Uh, we dress up in other clothes. Yes, that's what we do. We disguise ourselves so people won't know it's us. <gasps> oh, goody. Oh, I knew this was going to be fun. <laughs> Good, Miss. Just here they come. They'll never know us in these disguises. Yes. Well, it's very odd, Bungle. I mean, I'm sure I had the pen earlier. I know you did. Hello, what's going on here? Well, we are in disguise. I bet you didn't recognize us. Re oh, no, no, no. no. Uh, George, is this? <laughs> there you are, George. I said they wouldn't know it was us. <laughs> Good gracious, that's sippy. Yeah. <laughs> well, why are you wearing those things? Because, Bungle Bunch, we are detectives and we are investigating Jeffrey's case. But Geoffrey hasn't got a case. It, no, Bungle. Investigating his case means we're trying to find out what happened to the missing pen. It's a mystery. I see. So that's why you're in disguise. Yes, so, so that people won't recognise us and we can track down who took the pen. It was ever so easy. We, we just got some wool and string and some old glasses. Oh, I see. Well, don't tell everybody, George. They'll all be doing it. Yes. Now then, uh, great detectives, have you found any clues yet? Yeah, uh, clues? W what are clues? Well, they're the things that help me to solve the mystery, George. You know, things like fingerprints, marks left behind by the thief. Or someone saying they saw who took it. Oh, yes, well, we've only just started. But as you two are here, did you see who took the pen? No. no. Oh dear, now we haven't got a clue, Zippy. No. Oh, come on, you mustn't give up now, you know. Look, why don't you ask us some more questions? Yeah, what? Oh, oh, yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, well, well, what sort of question? Well, like, when did you last see the pen? Ah, yes, yeah, I was just going to ask that very question. I, I shall now start to question you as a detective. Right, off you go then. Mr. Jeffrey, when did you last see the pen? When did... Oh, I remember now. When I got up this morning, I went into your bedroom and I asked Ben Bungle for the pen back because you borrowed it last night. <gasps> oh, it is my turn now. Mr. Bungle, when did you last see the pen? Oh, when I got up this morning. Ha, there you are. I've solved the case. You, you have? have? Yes. It went missing in the bedroom. So? 
So, we must search. Search? The bedroom. Ooh, what a good idea. Ooh, what a bad idea. We haven't found it. Yes, and look at the bedroom. It's a real mess. Yeah, well, we might have found it. Yes, but we didn't, did we, Zippy? Oh. But that's because we didn't have a magnifying glass. Uh a what? A magnifying glass. Oh, detectives always have a magnifying glass, don't they, Geoffrey? Well, sometimes it be, yeah. It, well, we haven't got one. It, what, what does it do? Oh, it makes things look bigger. Yeah. I know. We can borrow Geoffrey's. Oh, can you? Oh, yes, Geoffrey. Then we'll be able to find your clues. Well, I don't really think you should be playing with that. Oh, please, Geoffrey. Well, it's not for playing with, George. No, I don't think that's a very good idea. Geoffrey. Oh, all right, all right, George. I'll go and get it. But listen, promise me you won't break it, right? <laughs> oh, goody. Ha, 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 ha. Just as I thought. What? Geoffrey did it. Did what? Took the pen. Oh, you mean he's a suspect? No, I just mean I think he took the pen. But that's what a suspect is, Zippy. Jeffrey's a suspect because you think he's the one who took it. Ah, yes, uh, that's what I was going to say, yes. Jeffrey is a suspect. Suspect? Yeah, but why do you think he's a su suspect? A mm. suspect, George. Yes, uh, uh, one of those. Yes, uh, well, wh why? Well, he didn't want us to have the magnifying glass. <gasps> You're right, he didn't. So? He's afraid we'll find a clue that will lead to him as the suspect. Suspect, Zippy. <laughs> oh, that's silly. Well, why? Because Jeffrey's the one looking for the pen. He's the one who lost it. Oh, yes. Silly, Zippy. You, you watch it, Bungle Bunch. Jeffrey did it. You mark my words. Yeah. Right, here we are. But be very careful with it, please, Zippy. Oh, yes. Thank you, yes. Now we can find some real clues. Yeah. Ah, 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 it's horrible. It's horrible. What is? A great big furry thing. That's my hand, Zippy. Zippy, you're looking through the magnifying glass. That makes everything look bigger. What? what? Oh, oh, ha, right. oh, oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, well, I knew that, yes. Oh, this is hopeless, and we're no nearer finding the pen. <laughs> Crumbs! What is it? Crumbs! Yes, Zippy, but what is it? Crumbs! Lots of crumbs! <gasps> So they are in Bungle's bed. Oh, that's a mystery. Ah, oh, uh, oh, yes, sir. Um, it it well, can um... mean only one thing. What's, What's that? that? Bungle's had biscuits in bed. Bungle. <gasps> and here they are. And they're mine. Oh, I'm sorry, Zippy. I was going to ask you, but I forgot. <sighs> Uh, just a minute, this isn't helping us to find the missing pen, is it? No. Now, are you sure you left it in here? Well, yes. No, not really. Uh, I said it was him. Yeah. Quiet, Zippy. You know, now you mention it, George, I'm sure I took the pen downstairs. <gasps> then let's go and look. Nothing. This is hopeless. As it was much easier in the story, those detectives solved the mystery quickly. Well, never mind. I expect it'll turn up somewhere. Well, I can't write my letters now, can I? Look, so, so you may as well tell us another story. Oh, yes. Go on, Geoffrey. Oh, all right, then. Oh, God. It's there. It's there. We found it. It's your pen, Geoffrey. Oh, you must have put it down when you read the story and then put the book on top of it. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, there you are. I said he did it. Did what, Zippy? Zippy said you were a suspect. And he was right. Yes. 
Oh, yes, I suppose he was. Well done, a real detective. Oh, first the biscuits, and now this. Two cases in one day. How do I do it? I'm so clever. <laughs> well, the story's about someone who's very clever, but this time it was a clever parrot. It was the day that Mr Snoozer went to work for the very last time. You see, it was the day that he was retiring from Get Up's alarm clock factory. Mr Get Up, the boss, gave Mr Snoozer a gold alarm clock as a leaving present. And something else, a talking parrot. Just so that you won't be lonely, he said. It'll be very quiet after all the noise in the factory. Well, Mr Snoozer had been looking forward to some peace and quiet, but he thanked Mr Get Up and took the clock and the parrot home. Now, what shall I call you? He said to the parrot as he took the cloth off the cage. Squawk! Shrieked the parrot. Shiver me timbers, strike a light. It's a lovely day. Give me a nut. My goodness, sir, you're a chatterbox, said Mr Snoozer. Oh, uh, that's what I'll call you, chatterbox. Chatterbox whistled like a lot of policemen and screamed, Get him, get him, I arrest you, come along quietly. Oh dear, oh dear, said Mr Snoozer. I don't think I'm going to get much peace and quiet. <laughs> I've had enough of your chatter. And he put the cloth over Chatterbox's cage to stop him chattering. And he went outside into the back garden to dig up some potatoes. A few moments later, someone came tiptoeing up to the window. It was Bad Burglar Brian and his nephew, Naughty Nigel. They'd seen Mr Snoozer digging in his back garden and they'd come to steal his gold alarm clock. Bad Brian opened the window. A gust of wind whooshed in and blew the cloth off the cage. Squawk! screeched Chatterbox. I arrest you. Get him, get him. Come along quietly. <whistles> Bad Brian grabbed hold of Naughty Nigel. Look out, it's the police. Run for it. Come on, let's go. And off they went, leaving behind Mr Snoozer's gold alarm clock and their bag of stolen goods. The noise made Mr Snoozer come back into the room. He saw the open window and the bag and his clock. He heard Chatterbox. Get him, get him, follow that man. Naughty, naughty. And then Mr Snoozer knew just what had happened. Chatterbox had saved his gold alarm clock. Well done, PC Parrot, he said. Thank you, oh, ye thank you. Right, well, that's your story. If you'll excuse me, I must write my letters now. Oh, can I borrow the pen afterwards, please, Geoffrey? Yes, of course you can, Bungle. Now then, where's my writing pad? What's funny? I'm sure I left it here this morning. Yes, I saw it. But where? Perhaps it's in the kitchen. How mean? It's missing? <gasps> another mystery. This looks like another case for Detective Zippy. Oh, yes, George. Three cases in one day. Still, I expect I can manage. I'm sure you can, Zippy. It's all right. I found it. It was behind the biscuit tin. Well, oh. thank goodness for that. Oh. Another mystery solved. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's time for us to go now. See you again soon, I hope. Take very good care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, I'm glad we solved Streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Hello. Where is everybody? Why no? They'll be outside in the garden. What's that funny noise? 
Oh dear, I can't find any of the others. I know, they must be in the garden. What is that funny noise? Ooh, I wonder where everyone's got to. I've looked in the garden, I've looked in the kitchen. Oh, I know, perhaps they're in the bathroom. <laughs> what, what's that funny noise? What is that funny noise to you, George? No, no, it isn't, Jeffrey. <laughs> what is that funny noise? Is it you, George? No, it isn't. <laughs> Zippy! Uh, yes? What a terrible noise. That is not a terrible noise. That is my song. Ooh, what song is that, Zippy? Uh, the song I'm writing for the talent contest. <laughs> What's a talent contest? Well, it is a sort of competition. Oh. You choose something that you can do well, and then you go and do it in front of lots of people. <gasps> can you really write a song, Zippy? Oh, of course I can. Oh, you are clever, Zippy. Yes, Zippy, what's this song of yours about? It is called Friends. Oh, Friends. Oh, that's nice. Are we going to be in your song? No, of course not, George. I mean, you do not write songs about people you know. Oh. Well, 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 can I help you with your song, Zippy? Oh, no, you can't, Bugabons. You're not clever enough to write songs. Oh. Oh, but Zippy, I mean, come on, I mean, you might need a little help thinking up all those words. I don't mind giving you a hand. No, no, no thank you, Geoffrey. I mean, when you're as clever as me, you don't need any help with anything. Right, that's how you feel. Yes. How about the rhythm, Zippy? I'm very good at rhythm. I could help you with that. I don't need any help, George. Writing songs is easy when you're as clever as I am. I don't need help from anyone. Now I'm off. I need some peace and quiet. Ha! <laughs> If you have a friend who is friendly and kind, don't ever lose him, or else, uh, else, else, what rhymes with kind, find, mind, don't ever lose him, good friends are hard to mind. Oh, no, that's silly. Oh, dear, writing songs is much harder than I thought. Perhaps I do need some help after all. Yes, was... Oh, 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 Bungle, 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 uh, Bungle, have you got a minute? What is it, Zippy? Yeah, well, I need a bit of help with my song. Oh, I'm sorry, Zippy. I haven't got time to help you now. Oh, but, but, friends come in all sizes. Some are big and some are small. The ones that are big are oh, much bigger than the ones that are small. No, no, no. What am I going to do? I, I can't get it. Oh, 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 oh Jeffrey, Jeffrey, uh, can you help me, please? What is it, Zippy? Yeah, well, I need some help with the words of my song. I, I can't make it rhyme. Oh, sorry, Zippy, I haven't got time to help you now. But, but, it, 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 it's my song, song, Je Je Jeffrey. Friends, get the rhythm. Boom, 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 boom. boom. No, that is friends. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's no, no good. No. Oh, 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 George, George, you'll help me, won't you? That the words won't rhyme and, and the rhythm just goes boom, 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 boom. I, I don't know what to do. Have you seen Bungle anywhere? Uh, no. I mean, yes, but, but, but what about my song, George? Sorry, Zippy. I haven't got time to help you now. I want to find Bungle. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, it won't anybody help me. sounds now. now. What do you think of this one? <laughs> oh, that hurts my ears. Oh, you go away, Zippy, and make that awful noise somewhere else. Yes, we just want some peace and quiet. All right, but don't expect me to invite you to the prize giving when my song wins the contest. Oh. When you've got friends, then all the friends are yours. Friends are lovely people to have around the house. I'm not sure about that, Zippy. Listen, why don't you try something like, Quiet friends are lovely people. Oh, yes. Oh, that's good. Quiet friends. I'll try it. Quiet friends are lovely people to have around the house. No, I don't like oh, I don't. Zippy, I'm trying to bake a cake. Now, I don't want you in my kitchen. If you want to make a noise, go and make your dreadful noise somewhere else. Well, I won't invite you to the prize giving. Zippy, out. <laughs> Jeffrey's just sent him out of the kitchen. I wonder where he'll go now. Perhaps he'll stop. Yeah. Friends are lovely oh, people. I can't cat stand any more of this noise. Now what's he doing? Oh, oh, Jeffrey, how can we stop all this dreadful noise? He's making our heads hurt. Yes, I don't mind, George. I've had enough of this. Yes. <laughs> If you want to make a noise, go out to the garden. I don't want to hear any more noise in the house. Right? Oh, that's better. That was a good idea, Geoffrey. He won't disturb anyone out there. They were just jealous cos I can write songs and make music and they can't. Now then, where was I? Friends are what you have when you're a nice person. Oi! Friends are nice people, really, even if they're jealous. Oi! Stop that horrible noise! Yeah, friends are the sort of... Ow! I said stop that horrible noise, or I'll throw a bucket of water over the wall. Ow! <laughs> Ah, there you are. Now listen, can you play by yourselves for a while? Only I'm busy at the moment. Yes, all right, Geoffrey. I haven't got time to play. I've got work to do. Sippy, you can't work all of the time, you know. You must find some time to stop and play. No, 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 no there's no time. I'm, I'm far too busy. I've got a song to finish. And, Sippy, yeah. you're looking very grubby. When did you last have a wash? No, I haven't got time. I, I haven't got time. Doesn't anyone know how hard it is to be clever? I must have some peace and quiet. Lots of friends is not always a good idea. Because friends want to oh, whisper dear. to I am worried about him, Geoffrey. Yes, so am I. Yes, he does seem to be taking this song business very seriously, doesn't he? Uh, and he's not eating properly. Or, or getting enough sleep. Or playing with us. Or even washing. Hmm. He's not taking care of himself, is he? Anyway, does anyone know how this song's coming along? Well, not very well, I think, Geoffrey. Well, I think he needs some help, Geoffrey, but, but he doesn't like to ask. Yes, I think you're right, George. Well, can't we help him? After all, we are his friends. That's right, but I'm not very good at writing songs, Bungle, are you? No, neither am I. Oh, no. I like tapping with my pencil. Boom, 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 boom. 
but which I'm not very good at the words. Oh, what can we do? Wait a minute. I think I know. Yes, leave it to me. Where have all my friends gone now? Friends gone. Friends gone. They've gone away and... and... Dear, I can't make this song work. What am I going to do? Hello, Sir B. How's it going? Oh, just wonderful. Look who's here. It's Christopher. Hello, Sir B. Hello, Christopher. Look, Zippy, I, I know you've already finished your song. Well, I expect you've finished it. Uh, but Christopher was saying to me that uh, he wouldn't mind helping you to tidy it up a bit. Yeah, you know, if you don't mind. Oh, oh, yes, please. I mean, not that it needs much work, you understand. No, 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 I shouldn't think it does, no. No, but, but, but we could just look it over together, I suppose. Then we could sing it with you. We, we, we won't be as good as you are, of course, Skippy, but we would like to help. That's a good idea, George. Songs are usually better if everybody helps and joins in. Oh. Isn't that right, Zippy? Uh, yes, yes. I'm sure that's right, Zippy. Come on, let's have a look at this song. Here you see, just... Doesn't go, doesn't, oh, doesn't, what if we went... <laughs> well done, Geoffrey. That was a good idea. Chris writes good songs, doesn't he? Oh, yes, and, and, and Zippy looks a lot happier now. Well, we all need a little help sometimes, George. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, that's lovely. I've done it, yeah. Zippy? Oh, I mean, we've done it. The song's ready now. Oh, thank you for helping me, Christopher. Yeah. That's all right, Zippy. That's what friends are for, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, let's sing it to everybody. Oh, yes, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, if you and Zippy sing it first, can we join in the second time, Christopher? Of course you can, George. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready. In that case, you better do it, Zippy. Oh, yes, God. Friends are the people you play with. Friends are the ones you love. Friends are the people who help you. And that's why friends are friends. When you're in trouble, friends will be there. Because real friends are people who care. Whether you're miserable, angry or sad, friends will be with you. To make you good Friends are the people you play with Friends are the ones you love but Friends are the people who help you That's why friends are friends When you're in trouble, friends will be there Because real friends are people who care Whether you're miserable, angry or sad Friends will be with you Friends are the people you play with Friends are the ones you love Friends are the people who help you That's why friends are friends I said friends <laughs> we got to go now, but we'll see you soon Bye-bye 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 When you're in trouble Streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, some silly person playing some horrible loud music. Oh, Zippy! Uh, rise and shine, sleepyhead. Oh, 
what's happening? Turn that horrible music off! Oh, no, it's great. Don't you like good music? <laughs> Not as early as this, I don't. Oh! Gee, we were fast asleep. Well, no, get up and dance, you're awake. Oh. But, but, but I was in the middle of a lovely dream. I was on the farm and I was feeding the little lamb. Uh, what is no, going on in here? Uh, Sydney, I'm trying to get some sleep. Uh, uh, don't turn it off, Jeffrey. I want to listen to it. Well, I don't. Not at this time of the morning, Zippy. Anyway, what are you doing up so early? No, I couldn't sleep. I got bored just lying there with nothing to do, listening to Bungle snoring away and George talking about fluffy lambs. I don't snore. Oh, oh yes, you do, Bungle. Yes. I just thought I'd get up and listen to my tape, if nobody minds. Sissy, that's really selfish of you. You've woken everybody up now. It's hardly worth going back to bed at all. Come on, we'll get downstairs and have our breakfast. All <laughs> oh, very well, I don't like music. Music is good and it makes you alive and it's my life. Zippy, Zippy, would you pass me that rainbow comic, please? Thank you. <sighs> Honestly, just look at all this mess. Oh, I'm really looking forward to a nice big bowl of teddy bears. Bungle, didn't I tell you last night to put all your toys away? Look at uh, all this mess. Oh. Oh, well, I didn't feel like doing it. I was tired. Couldn't somebody else do it? Certainly not, you lazy bones. You've got all your toys out. You can put them all away yes, again. Yes, well... Uh... Now, if you leave them on the floor, someone's going to fall over them and hurt themselves. Uh, yes, yes, he's right, you know, Bungle. Yes, yes. Oh, well, I'll do it after breakfast. Oh, no! There isn't any left. Look, it's empty. But that was a new packet. Oh, oh uh, yeah, well, uh, I did have a few bowls when I got up. Yeah. Oh, zippy! Well, well, only three or four. Oh, dear. Well, never mind. We'll have some tea and toast instead. Yeah, oh, Je Jeffrey, so, uh, I, so, uh, I used all the milk for my cereal. And I used all the bread and... And, and the juice. Yeah. Oh, Zippy, you could have left something for us. This is a sorry, Jeffrey. Oh, dear, Jeffrey, what are we going to do? Well, there's only one thing we can do, Bungle. Let's all go down to the corner shop, get some milk, some juice, some bread, and some cereal. And whilst I'm getting dressed, Bungle, put all your toys away. Well, can't I do it later on? No, you can't. You can do it now, Bungle. Oh. And where's George got to? Oh, shall I go and look for him? No, you won't, Bungle. You put those toys away. Oh. I'll find George after I've got dressed. Oh, Jeffrey is in a bad mood. Yeah. Yeah. And where is George, anyway? Hmm. He should be helping, he should. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Oh, I hate putting things away. I like getting them out, but I hate putting them away. Yeah. Well, so we're ready to go to the shops. I'm going to play in the garden. Yes. Oh, yes, I think that's what I'll do as well. I can do this later on. Oh, hang on, Zippy. Wait for me. I'm coming. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> well, dress. We can go and get that milk. George, why are you still in bed? <laughs> what, what, mm? oh, would you mind getting up, please? We've got to oh, go to the shops. Oh, yeah, but I just finished this comic, Zippy. I'm just in the middle of a very exciting story. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just about at the end of my temper, George. Come on, we're waiting for you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, just, just a minute, Jeffrey. No, now. Yeah, but, 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 no but, buts, George. I want you downstairs now. Honestly. Yeah, but, but, but he was just going to go and... Oh, no, he wasn't, no. Ooh. Bungle, Zippy! Come on! Now where they got to? Oh! Oh! Ooh! I wonder what that was. Funny? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> oh. oh, my leg! Bungle! Zippy! George, where are you? Jeffrey, oh. what's happened? Oh, are you Jay. all right? Yeah, I slipped on one of Bungle's toys that he left on the floor. Oh. I think I sprained my ankle. Oh, well, well, try not to move it too much. Oh, oh well, what are you doing down there, Jeffrey? Are you tidying up my toys? Look, he slipped on a car. 
Oh, that was a silly thing to do. Oh. Bungle, you're cautioned to be on the floor. I told you someone oh. would have an accident. Oh, oh come on, Bungle. Get, help me get him. All right, yes. Bungle, come on, Jeffrey. Let me help you right. out. Oh, careful. Oh, oh. oh. is it? Oh, how does it feel, Jeffrey? Oh, it's very painful, Jane. Oh. 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 Bungle and Zippy, why didn't you help Jeffrey when he tripped over? Yeah, but, but, but we were playing in the garden. Oh, well. Hello, Jane. Ooh, what's going on? Well, Jeffrey's had an accident. Ooh. George, didn't you hear me calling? Oh, yes, I, I heard you, Jeffrey, but I, I was busy looking at my, my, my comic. Ooh. Well, I think Jeffrey's a bit more important than your comic, George. Mm, I'm sorry, Jeffrey. Well, I'm not surprised he tripped over. I mean, look at all this mess. Who did all this? Well, um, uh, <laughs> Jeffrey told him to put it all away. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll do it right now. Thank you, Bob. Oh, good. Well, I'll make us a nice cup of tea. There's nothing like a nice cup of tea when things go wrong. <clears throat> Jane, look, no milk. No milk? No, Zippy used it all. And the bread and the juice. Oh, yeah. oh you are all terrible. You only seem to be thinking about yourselves today. Mm, right, Jane, you're right. Well, look, I've got to go and rehearse with Rod and Freddy, but when I've finished, I'll stop off at the corner shop and I'll get you some milk and cereal and all the rest of it. Oh. Now, you look after Geoffrey and, and tidy up all this mess. And I'll see you later. Yes, thank you, Jane. Yes, 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 yes. Jane, look, while you're at the shops, can you... Oh, dear, I want some more things from the shop. Oh, yes, and some teddy bricks, Geoffrey, teddy bricks. Mm. Well, if she doesn't well, get this, well, what well, I hope she do? does. Well, I mean, it's, quick, it's I, ours, isn't it? Well, well, we've got loads to do when she's... Late. You oh. never believe what's been going on with Geoffrey and Barney. Tell us about it later. We've got to rehearse. Yes, Come on. All right. 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 Ready? <clears throat> We're singing a little song. Why don't... Shops, get me a packet of Teddy Bix, would you please? Oh, yes, certainly, Jeffrey. Thank you. Yes, Teddy Bix. Oh, oh uh, by the way, sorry to disturb you. Oh, well, uh, can we carry on now? Yes. yes. Good, right. We're singing. Well, we're, but I haven't sang anything uh, yet. Little... Can I sing the first bit? Yes, you but can. You do the bit that's on page yes, two. Yes, you about can. The... Of course, you can. Oh. Yes, I don't mind. Go Thank on. you, Rod. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> we're singing a little song. So why don't you sing it too? We're bringing a little happiness along. That's what we like to do. Let's put a smile on the faces of the people. I'm sorry to bother you again, but watch it at the shops. Get me a slice loaf, would you please? Yes, Jeffrey. Thank you. Well, oh, by the way, sorry to disturb you. Well, how many more times oh. are we going to be interrupted? Oh, no. It's not his fault. He's just got lots on his mind, that's all. Right, well, let's get on with it then. Yes. Oh, and Freddie, yes. Freddie, Freddie, by the way, we are all meant to sing it, you know. You can't sing it all on your own. Oh, I'm sorry, Rod. I wasn't <laughs> thinking. Just... Come on, then. Let's uh, start again. All right. All right. <clears throat> We're singing. They'll be reminded 
listen to the song. Oh. Well, you're too late, Geoffrey. We've we've finished. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, in that case, Jane, get me a pound of peas. We need a pound of carrots and a pound of spring greens. Thanks very much. <sighs> oh, uh, by the way, oh. sorry, sorry to, to disturb, disturb you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, thank you, Jane. That's much better. Well, it's lucky I turned up when I did. Mm. Well, if we'd known what happened to Geoffrey, we would have helped him. Well, oh, yes, we would, yes, definitely. Oh, yes, except that you were busy in the garden, Zippy, yeah. and you were busy looking at a comic, George. And it wouldn't have happened in the first place, Bungle, if you'd put your toys away. Oh, dear. You can't just think about yourselves and what you want to do all the time, no, you know. Right, oh, precisely. Look, look, Jane, Jane c c could we have a story, Jane, to cheer us all up, please? Oh, yes, please, please, Jane, tell us a story. All right, as you've asked me so politely, I'll do better than that. We'll do a little rhyme. You can all join in. Oh, good. Do you remember the two fat gentlemen? Oh, yes, yes. yes. They were very polite, weren't they? Yes. <laughs> Come on, then, Bungle. Two, two fat, fat gentlemen, gentlemen met, met in, in a lane. lane. Bowed oh, most, most politely. politely. And, and bowed, bowed again. again. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do, do again? again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, George and Zippy, it's your turn now. <laughs> Two thin ladies met, met in, in a lane. lane. Bowed most politely. And bowed once again. again. How do you do? How do you do? And how do you do, you do again? again? <laughs> Two tall policemen met in a lane, bowed most politely and bowed once again. How do you do? How do you do? And how do you do again? Thank you, Jane. And that ankle, how's it feeling? Well, it's a lot better, actually. Thanks a lot. Well, I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye to you now, but uh, take care of yourself, won't you, and be good to each other. Bye-bye. Bye! Goodbye! Bye! Have I caught anybody? Oh, oh yes, I've got a Streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Oh, uh, hello. I said hello. You mustn't look at me. No, I look funny. I've got measles. If I let you see, you won't laugh, will you? Promise? All right. You're laughing. I know you are. I can't help it. Hello, Zippy. How are you feeling? A bit better, Geoffrey, but I look funny. Of course you don't look funny, Zippy. Now, don't worry. Your spots will soon be gone. Oh, hello there. Poor Zippy. He's got measles. But I think he's feeling a little bit better today, aren't you? I don't like having to stay in bed. I know, Zippy. Look, I brought you your tea. Oh, thank you, but my throat's still a bit sore. I know, that's why I brought your favourite jelly. Look, banana cream. That'll just slip down your throat and won't hurt a bit. Oh, thank you, Geoffrey. Now, don't you worry, Zippy. Look, I tell you what, why don't I ask Bungle and George to come up and see you? That'd cheer you up, wouldn't it? Yeah, but, 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 but the, the spots! Well, they've already had the measles, Zippy, so they won't catch them from you. And don't worry, your spots will soon be gone. Anyway, we love you with spots or without spots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I finished. Oh, I've done a lovely drawing of Zippy, and I'm going to give it to him as a get well card. Oh, yes, George, but there's something not quite right. Oh, yes, I know. Measles. Measles. 
No, no, Bungle, no, you spoiled it. We can't give him that, Bungle, like that. We can't do it. Oh, oh, now look what you've done. Oh, dear. You know, I think Zippy's feeling a lot better now. Oh, George, can't I leave you alone for five minutes without you making a mess everywhere? But, 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 no buts, George, I've cleared up straight away. See if I haven't got enough to do with looking after Zippy upstairs and all the housework oh, to do. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, I'm sorry, George, it was my fault, really, but don't worry, I'll tell Geoffrey. Yes, but... No, I'll go and get a cloth and mop it all up. <laughs> there. And then we can do another painting of Zippy. I mean, the first one you did was very good until I spoiled it. All right, George, you're all right. No, it's not there. I wish I could find it. Well, I'm clearing everything up. Uh, are you all right? I can't find my silky. When I'm upset, I like to hold it and rub it against my face. It seems to help me. Now I can't find it. <laughs> Silky. Well, look, George, here's my special silky. Look, you can have it until you find yours. Oh, thank you, Bungle. <laughs> Uh, hello, Zippy. <laughs> hello. It's a get well card, and George painted it especially for you. <laughs> Thank you very nice. <laughs> well, soon your spots will be gone, and you'll look just like that again. <laughs> we, 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 we really show you you're not very well, Zippy. <laughs> Thank you. Very kind of you. <laughs> All right for you. <laughs> you haven't got spots. <laughs> Well, if there's anything you want us to do, Zippy. Uh, y y yes, um, uh, we... No, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, thank you. Sure the spots will go without your help, thank you. Ooh. Mm. Y y y y yes. yes, yes. Well, perhaps we better go then. Yes. Uh, and we'll come up and see you again later. If you really want to. Um, yes. Y yes. Bungle, <laughs> George, I, I didn't mean to. It's <laughs> all because of these spots. <laughs> Oh, he wasn't very pleased to see us, was he? Well, no, George, but he's not feeling very well, so we must be very kind to him. Yes, we must, yes. Oh! You oh, 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 left that door open! No. I did, Geoffrey. I'm very, very sorry. But let me rub it better for you. Oh, oh gently, Bungle, oh, gently. Oh. No, I'm sorry, Bungle. I didn't mean to shout. I was only trying to help. Yes, I know you were. I know. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Is it feeling any better, Geoffrey? Oh, a little bit, George, a little bit. Um, Geoffrey, look at me. What? <laughs> That's made you feel a bit better, hasn't it, It Jenny? certainly has, George. Thanks very much. <laughs> you know, my knee doesn't hurt a bit now. I tell you what, I think you deserve a story for that. Oh, oh yes, please. Oh, look, here's the book, Geoffrey. Thank you, George. Let's see what story we have for you today. Oh, yes, it's all about Tat the Cat. Oh. Early one evening in the barn at Snuffbox Farm, Alexander, the big black cat, yawned. Oh, I think it's time we all had an early night, he said. Oh, what a good idea, said Tat. My sisters and I agree with you, said Prunella. Oscar just smiled. He was always ready to go to sleep. But before they could settle down, there was a knock on the door. Ooh. And then it opened, 
and in came Poppet. And she had large tears in her eyes. Mm. What's wrong? asked Tat. I've lost a little bell from around my neck. Oh, please help me to find it. Surely it can wait until the morning, said Prunella, who looked very cross. Deary, deary me, said Alexander. Now show a little sympathy. Can you not see the poor wee thing's very upset? Sorry, said Prunella. So I should think so, said Oscar. Now come along, all of you, said Alexander. We'll help Poppet to look for the bell. Outside the barn, Tat put his arm around Poppet. Oh, please don't cry, dear, he said. With all of us looking, we're sure to find it. But try as they may, they couldn't find the bell. And then it began to get dark. Poppet, my dear, said Alexander, we're not going to find that wee bell at this time of night, but we'll look again first thing in the morning. You promise, said Poppet. Well, of course we do, answered Tat. Now go home to bed and no more tears. Well, just as everyone was settling down for the night, there was another knock on the door. And Poppet walked in again. I found it, I found my bell. It was in my basket all the time. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you all for your help and your kindness, said Poppet. So much for an early night, said Prunella. Never mind, said Alexander. We can all have a lie in in the morning. And they did. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jeffrey. Right, I'd better go and see how Zippy's feeling, hadn't I? Because I've got an idea that might cheer him up. Oh, Here we are, Zippy. Look, just for you. Oh, oh, thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Uh, uh, what's on, Jeffrey? What's on? Well, I'm not really sure, Zippy. But you never know, it might be Rod, Jane and Freddy with a song, just for you. Oh. Oh, God, it's Jane. Rainy days, skies are grey. But do we really care now? Think of the spring, or songs that you sing, when flowers are everywhere. Chin up, try to be brave. That's what we always say. Take my advice, don't think twice. You'll be better off that way. Look on the bright side, put on a smile, make it a sunny day. Was good that was. They were all happy at the end, just for me. Oh. What, 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 what are you doing, Geoffrey? Well, George, I've got an idea that might make Zippy laugh, and that would help, wouldn't it? Yes, but what is it? <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! And then you will look the same because. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, us as well, Geoffrey. Will you do us as well? Oh, yes, all right, George, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I wonder how the others are. Back there laughing about me and my spots. I wouldn't laugh at them if they had spots. You wouldn't laugh at who's if he? I wouldn't laugh at you if you had spots. Wouldn't you? Listen, can we come in? Yes. Look at the spot we're in. What? <laughs> oh, Jeffrey! Oh, a bungle! <laughs> oh, I'd spot you anywhere! <laughs> we put them on with face paint, Zippy, but you're lucky you didn't do anything to get yours. I know we all look the same, Zippy, so perhaps you won't be upset with us anymore. Oh, no, I won't. I want to thank you for the card. It's a very good one, yes. Oh, no, no. my Suki! You've got my Suki! Oh, yes, I, I borrowed it because I, I know how you like to hold it when you don't feel very well and I, I, I thought it would help me. I'm, I'm sorry. You can have it back now. No, no, Zippy. I don't need it now. You keep it till you're better if it helps. Oh, yes, it does. Thank you, George. Oh, I feel a lot better already. Soon all my spots will be gone. Well, of course they will, Zippy. It's time for us to be gone now, I'm afraid. But don't worry, Zippy will be a lot better the next time you see him. And he does know, doesn't he, that we all love him. Is that right, Zippy? Yes. And you love him just as much as well, don't you? Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>